wish these were around when I was younger so I could have something cute but in my comfort zone to wear. Honestly, I'm just gonna kill it all summer. Absolutely slay. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. Let's be besties. I love to do try on hauls. So if you'd like to see more videos like this one, definitely subscribe. If you wanna be my bestie, all my besties are subscribed. And if not, then we can't be besties. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We can still be besties. My number one besties are subscribed to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a bathing suit try on haul. It's about to be that time of year. I am supposed to go on a vacation. I don't know if I still am. Hopefully I am. What better way to prepare for a vacation than buy a ton of bathing suits? The brand I decided to order my bathing suits through is Shein. Is Shein the best brand? No. Years before, I would swim in a t-shirt and shorts. Ever since I discovered Shein and found out that they have cute bathing suits that make me feel comfortable, cause I'm not always comfortable wearing something that shows my entire body. People say I'm confident, but like confidence comes in levels. So I'm just not ready for certain things. And Shein sells bathing suits that I feel comfortable in. So far, Shein's the only company that I've found that has bathing suits that fit me, that I feel comfortable in, and that I think are stylish that I can afford. Because literally, if you go on any other website, if you try to get a plus size bathing suit, it's between 50 and $100 for one bathing suit. That does not guarantee that it will fit. Shein has free returns. If you have a problem with the brand that I decided to order the bathing suits from, don't watch the video. As a plus size person, sometimes this is the only accessible thing that we have. So please don't shame us for the only place that we have found that has things that fit us, that we like, and we can afford because we're not used to that. Literally, I never see a straight size person getting shamed for the places that they shop. They literally will buy like 50 bathing suits and I don't hear a word but as soon as a plus size person decides to buy some to treat themselves it's always a huge deal but whatever we're gonna get straight into the video let's go try on some clothes I'm sorry for blabbering I also got this top from Shein last year I think it's so cute it's actually a bathing suit cover-up nobody gotta know this has the bathing suits in it I did order some other clothes for vacation and for the summertime, so that's why it is so big. This is probably like one of the few orders I'm gonna do this summer. I don't know, I might do some more. I did try on just a couple pairs before. It wasn't many. I did a try on on my Instagram for one bathing suit. It was the first one, cause for some reason it arrived in like a separate package. Don't know why. This one, I haven't tried on yet. And honestly, I'm so excited to try this on. I've never had a bathing suit like this. I'm not a huge fan of animal prints. I thought I'd try it out. It looks cute. It covers my tummy, hopefully. It feels very stretchy and it feels like it's gonna be good material. Uh, I don't know how I feel. I don't know, I'm kind of torn on this one. If I pull it up like a camel toe, I love bathing suits that have like shorts instead of bikini bottoms, but I just don't think this is flattering on me. The top. It's like my whole back is about to fall out. I just kept the tie that they already had on there. I didn't retie it. I didn't bother to even try. I don't know, it's good material. It just, the print looks kinda, kinda cheap. I don't know. I mean, it was cheap. Just cause it is cheap doesn't mean it gotta look cheap. I'm just feeling, eh. It's not cute to me. I feel like I'm trying to convince myself to like it, but I just don't. It's kind of cute. It's like I keep staring and it's kind of cute. I just have a camel toe. Ugh. And like if I pull it down, more of my stomach hangs out. See, and that's not cute. Cause like, I don't know. It just looks awkward now. I think this one's a no for me. Sorry, Shein, but no. And honestly, it's probably more so my body type rather than the bathing suit itself. I don't know, I feel like I don't have enough hips to fill out the bottom and it just looks awkward. The back rolls are hanging out, but that's okay. It adds to the aesthetic. Okay, so this next one is one that I actually tried on on Instagram. Don't remember how it fits, so 
we're gonna try it on again anyways this one is actually a three piece a bikini top bikini bottoms and then also a skirt so the skirt is removable the bottoms underneath are not attached i would show without this skirt but i just feel like my video would get taken down because like everything is hanging out it's it might as well just be a string bikini let me try to show you without the skirt here's how it looks lots of belly action it's definitely a cheeky bottom and then the top just slides right on i feel like this is a really good choice if you're kind of confident but also kind of insecure because you're just like i want to wear a bikini but maybe if i go and i'm feeling a little out of my comfort zone i can throw the skirt on or keep the skirt on it really just depends on what you want to do and if you really don't like the bottoms because even with the skirt on the back is still kind of cheeky what you could do you could just replace the bottoms black bikini bottom with more coverage white would match more but i don't know if you'd really want to swim in white yeah i really like this one i feel like my little belly rolls are showing a little but that's kind of cute it adds to the look and then this middle piece is actually adjustable if you decide you want to show some more cleavage or middle boob you can just loosen it a little bit i like the little ruffles it's really good quality the pads are removable they were also removable on that previous bathing suit i might replace the bottoms because they're kind of cheeky i feel like this next one i have seen almost everywhere i don't think they had this orange color available in it before I always saw like the little lemon print. I'll include a photo of what I'm talking about. But I always saw the lemon print and never the orange one. And I don't really like the lemon one. I feel like some people definitely pull it off. But me, I feel like it's not really my style. I kind of like plain stuff. This is a little bright for me, but I love the style. This one is also a three piece. So it comes with the bottoms, the skirt, and the top. The bottom on these definitely look a lot less cheeky. This is another one where you can kind of choose how confident or comfortable you were feeling for the day. It comes with these high-waisted briefs. These definitely have a lot more coverage than the last ones. The top is kind of weird, but it has padding. It's comfortable, but it's kind of weird but i do like it and i actually kind of like the color it has an open back the bottoms have a lot more coverage than the last i feel like i should have put something on my thighs before i did this for chafing because they are sticking together i'm gonna try it on with the skirt on top i love it this is probably my favorite bathing suit the padding is made inside it's underwire but it's so comfortable the quality like i could believe that this is a $60 bathing suit. But the fact that you're getting it for, I don't remember how much I paid, but I will put it down below the link and I'll put the price on the screen. However much this was, I feel like it was worth it because this is now gonna be my favorite bathing suit. And I love that the skirt is just so flowy. It gives off a retro vibe for sure. Here's how the back looks. It covers the majority of the butt. I love this. I can see myself wearing this. This is gonna be my new favorite bathing suit, period. I love it. Uh, by the way, all the bathing suits that I got are in a size 4X. For this next one, they're actually two separate pieces, so they weren't sold together. But this is how I like to pair them because I don't really like bikini bottoms. I prefer skirts or super high-waisted bottoms or shorts, something like that. I bought this kind of, it's kind of a bodycon swim skirt. It's black. And then this is like, it's kind of revealing. I've never really worn anything like this, but I'm super excited to try it out. It's this heart bikini top. It has a little heart in the middle, which is so cute. This is such my vibes. I just really hope I like how these two look together. Wait a second. This is cute, even together. Like I really like it. So it has this strap right here that ties in the front, but you can tie it wherever you really want. It is kind of booby, lots of cleavage showing. That's okay. Now the skirt is like a drawstring skirt. It's high-waisted, it has briefs underneath. You can like adjust it on this side with the drawstring depending on like how far up or down you want it to go. 
I kind of like it at this like slanted. It kind of gives off like a, I don't know, a shape that I don't have. Here's how it looks in the back. The bikini top has a lot more coverage than I was expecting. The skirt won't go up anymore. So if you like it like extremely high rise, like up there, uh-uh, it's not gonna be. But what you could do, you could cut out the bottoms and just wear your own bottoms, kind of like the three-piece skirts, turn it into something like that. But I love this, the little ruffle, it's so cute. The top is padded, but of course the pads, they are removable. This top is everything. I've never had anything like this as like a plus size person. I've always been scared. But I was like, fuck it, risk it, buy the top, buy the top. I was thinking I could even wear this just like as a normal top. Cause I've seen people wear this as just like a crop top. You could do that. I'm like actually kind of sad. I spent all these years just swimming in a pair of shorts and an oversized t-shirt or a tank top or whatever it may be. I've never actually worn a bikini or a bathing suit besides last year and it makes me so sad now because I'm like these are so cute I wish these were around when I was younger so I could have something cute but in my comfort zone to wear it actually makes me so sad Ooh. did I almost fall yes we're not gonna talk about it okay so this one is kind of the same as the others but also a little different it's a one-piece bathing suit and it's kind of weird crisscrossy I don't know it's it's hard to explain it's a bikini not a bikini it's a one piece and then it has a little skirt to put on top it's this cool funky print i was like i've never had anything like this so let me try it out i don't know what i like this was super awkward to put on so i like slid on the bottoms then put on the top then like one tibby was hanging out but nevertheless is that how you use that word i don't know nevertheless we got it on. I'm not really a fan of it without the skirt. Underbelly is starting to show. It's not as high rise as I would have liked it to be. And also my coochie was about to show. If you pull it up a little bit and let your side show, like it's, it's kind of small in the, the coochie region. Let's put on the skirt and see how that looks. Okay, so this is cute. I don't know, I feel like if I'm like sitting crisscross applesauce like on the beach or beside the pool, beside the pool, I feel like my private parts are gonna show. But at the same time, this is actually super cute. I really like it. I just wish the vagina area had a little bit more area and not just vagina. It's very frustrating. This is like that print that I've really been liking lately. Definitely not one of my favorites, but I really like the way that it looks. Like it's tight, a little bit out of my comfort zone, but it's cute. It is so cute. Have I called every single bathing suit cute? It's adorable. The back has a lot of coverage. The front boobage has a lot of coverage. The only area that just doesn't have coverage is where it matters. This video is gonna be like so much longer than I expected it to be, but it's okay. We just, we vibing with our little, with our little Shein swimsuit, so it's okay. This is a one piece. I have not worn just strictly like a one piece in forever. If I got a one piece in the past, I'd buy like a one piece and I'd put shorts on top of it. I saw the girl in the little reviews review this and I was like, she looks fucking good, so maybe i'll look as good as her if anything i can put that little skirt on top of it and i think it would be a look i was genuinely not expecting to like this as much with my thighs all out and everything but i really do it's cute and it has a lot of coverage and it kind of cinches you so you feel protected and it does come with this little piece of fabric to tie the boob area together so if you don't want it tied you don't have to i'm tying it together now <laughs> Oh my God, that made it even cuter. They actually have arms, unlike normal bathing suits, but I love it. I probably have said that a lot, but I love it. This is going better than expected because normally I just hate my body. I get insecure too, especially when it comes to swimsuit season. I'm just gonna kill it all summer. Absolutely slay. I thought I would hate my little tummy down here, but no, this is cute. It's like a little, cottage core hoe. I like how it's off the shoulders. I don't know how it'll be while I'm swimming, but we're not gonna worry about that because it's cute. The brief is just so, so much coverage. Ooh. 
So hopefully this one redeems the first bathing suit. This is another pair of shorts and a top. It's kind of in the same style. Hopefully it will redeem its fallen sister. This one has a lot of coverage. The boobs are covered, the fupa's covered, the butt is covered, everything's covered. Well, besides my back. The back is an open back, but the shorts are just kind of tight. I don't know. It's tighter than the other outfits. I love how high-waisted these bottoms are, but I think I can keep this. I think I can rock it. I don't know. It gives me like a little vintage vibe. It has hearts and flowers all over. Last one is a two-piece set. It's supposed to be like kind of like those three pieces, but for some reason, this one does not come with bottoms underneath the skirt, which is fine for me because most of the time when they have them, they're a little too cheeky or not high-rise enough or whatever. So I thought a pair of black briefs would match. I got these high-waisted bikini bottoms to go underneath. They look very comfortable on the picture. Let's try these two together. Here's the bottoms. They're a little revealing, but not too revealing. They look good. And this is it with the top that I just had on. I feel like this is really cute. It could be worn with different bottoms too. Okay, so this one's cute. I don't know if I'm a fan of this slit going up. Maybe it's just me being picky, but yeah, I think it's really cute. I like the print. The top does have like a drawstring, so if you wanted to make it like tighter like that, you can, or if you want more coverage, you can do that as well. It has sleeves just like that one piece off the shoulders, which gives like a cute little, I don't know, it just adds a little something. It shows a little bit of belly, but you don't have to show that much if you don't want to you can adjust it down and get different briefs like low-rise briefs if you choose to so you don't want it as high this is cute for if you don't want to show as much skin you might have some weird tan lines i'm glad i went for these black bottoms because they are very comfortable as well all right so that's all the bikinis or bathing suits that i got to try on for today it was a lot i know i just wanted to have choices because i know as like a plus size person all the ones that came in i was not gonna like i mean i'm pretty satisfied with the majority of them there's a few i'm probably gonna end up returning just because they're I don't know, out of my comfort zone or they just weren't comfortable or I didn't like the way that they fit or they looked. If you're plus size, then you know how that is. Honestly, if you're a person, then you know how that is. Not everything on the internet fits as expected, but comment and let me know which one you like the best. The one I need to wear out more often. I'm hoping I get to go swimming a lot this summer. I really wanna put up a pool at my house, but that's for a different day. I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. It would mean a lot to me if you guys left me a like down below. Also, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Like I mentioned before, let's be besties. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to hit 1K subscribers by my birthday, which is in August. I can't wait. I'm so close and I'm so excited to see what this YouTube journey has in store for me. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.